some people would say I look sweaty. It's just healthy skin, babe. We now apparently want to look sweaty and um, like we're having a heat stroke. Madeline Klein is another person that I don't know, but Google says that she was in Outer Banks and we actually reacted to another beautiful Outer Banks actress or person. I'm very interested to see how this routine either compares or is different. You actually sent this to me because apparently uh, it has an acne product in it that I like. And as your acne big sister, I always wanna help other people who struggle with acne, basically younger 16 year old me, understand which products might actually work for their skin and understand when we should follow a celebrity's recommendations versus when we should really avoid it for our overall skin health and self-confidence. So as your acne big sister, who's currently breaking out, resident medical esthetician and coffee connoisseur, let's analyze, scrutinize, and learn from this routine. Hey guys, it's Madeline Clyde, and I am going to be doing my skincare routine and a little judged everyday look with a, a winged eye and maybe um, a peachy lip. Let's do it. This is my ride or die face wash. I've been using it since I was 13. I saw this on TikTok and if I, I can't remember who did the video, but she used a brush to wash her face. It's changed my life. So let's get started. I might use like maybe an inordinate amount. <laughs> That's okay. You go in and you like kind of mix it up, make it foamy. She is uh, fluffing a panoxyl. I've actually never seen this done with panoxyl. This reminds me of the Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. That's one of my favorite products. You can use it for gentle daily exfoliation, but you fluff that, it becomes like this whipped texture and you put it on your face. But this is the panoxyl. I love panoxyl. It's a vegan cruelty-free benzoyl peroxide that really helps with acne. And they have different strengths. It looks like she's using the maximum strength, but we've spoken about this in so many other videos because it really is inexpensive effective, affordable, it's really good. I would recommend it a little bit more for teenage acne rather than adult acne, just because it can be a little bit more drying on skin. Benzoyl peroxide works by basically breaking a bond that introduces oxygen into the skin. And acne is anaerobic, and meaning not or without, and aerobic meaning with oxygen. So acne cannot live in the presence of oxygen. Therefore, when this panoxyl goes onto the skin or into the skin, it actually kills that acne bacteria because it basically makes the acne's house not suitable for living anymore. It is a wonderful product. It can be a little intense, but it is good. And I love that she's actually fluffing this up. I kind of want to try this now. Take your hands, like whatever is left on your hands, and just like press into your face. It just like makes me feel like it's actually like getting my pores. I have noticed a difference in like the amount of like, mm, like blackheads that I've been getting. I love that she mentions blackheads because a lot of people don't realize the whiteheads, the little volcanoes, and the little black dots, those are actually both caused by the same acne bacteria, even though they look very different. Whiteheads have basically skin over the top and they're very inflamed, whereas blackheads don't have that skin over the top. And the acne bacteria and the gunk is exposed to the world and it just gets dark due to oxidation. If you ever cut an apple or an avocado and leave it on the countertop, you notice how it turns brown over time. That's the process of oxidation. Same thing is happening to the bacteria and the gunk inside of our pores if it is left open. So she's right, using benzoyl peroxide will kill this bacteria, help get rid of it. And if you really are struggling with blackheads or even just sebaceous filaments, another great option is salicylic acid. I love that she's using things that work for her skin. I do like that she's pressing it in. It looks very gentle, very relaxing. We're off to a good start. Always pat your face dry if you like retains moisture. Lotion P50 1970. I just like put like a little bit on my palm. We just reacted to someone else who used this. This is the Biologique P189R2D2. Looks very interesting, but uh, the pricing was not available on the website, nor were the ingredients, but you beautiful butterflies left some amazing comments. And um, yeah, apparently it's like $150. <laughs> I don't know why this is so expensive. A lot of people have said that it does work very well. I'm super glad to hear, but I do not understand why this costs $150. This one finally has some ingredients. This is water, glycerin, phenol. Well, that explains why I hope there's not a lot of phenol in there. There is such thing as a phenol peel. If you want your face to fall off, 
phenol peel. This has phenol in it, but this also has niacinamide, vinegar, magnesium chloride, lactic acid. This is exfoliating salicylic acid. Okay. And sulfur. Wow. The ingredients on this are actually pretty good. I don't know why it's so expensive. They must be majorly diluted. Obviously this is not the same as a phenol peel, but it is nice to find a phenol based product just because that is kind of hard to find. I can see why people would be seeing results from this. Now for the price, I'm trying to think, I don't know off the top of my head of any non-medical phenol peels or phenol products. So I'm going to have to look into that. But if you do really want to go uh, full fledged with a phenol peel, get it done by a professional. That is not something you ever want to try to DIY at home. Skinceutical CE Ferulic Serum. I cringe because it's a good product, but it smells like hot dog water and it costs so much money. The CE Ferulic is special because it's vitamin C, vitamin E, and ferulic acid. Well, Drunk Elephant kind of came for them and created a product that's very similar, but then The Ordinary came for Drunk Elephant and created one that's even less expensive. The Ordinary has a vitamin C and F formula that is absolutely fantastic. It's like $10. Maylove has an even better one. It's a little bit more expensive, but it is so good. And I think that they're actually made here in the Bay Area, which is nice for me because they're local as well. But if you really want to spend SkinCeuticals money, but actually get something that's less irritating and penetrates deeper into the skin, you already know what I'm going to say. CCC Ferulic from Paracone MD. It's a vitamin C ester, so it's oil soluble, meaning it can actually get into the skin and hopefully into the cell and the nucleus where it needs to go. And then it's less irritating and it works better with your skin's barrier. I absolutely love that one. It is about the same price as the SkinCeuticals, but I have gotten it on sale at Amazon for $72. I've gotten it for $120. And some of our beautiful butterflies actually found it at Marshalls. So just letting you know, and I'll list all of these right here. If you slap the screen around, it kind of shows up with this new little product shelf that YouTube created, and you can actually read the ingredients of specific products. So I will leave some dupes for what she is using, but I love that it works for her. It actually seems like she's using some good products. I just don't like the price. <laughs> Anything you put on after it, your skin's gonna absorb better. I use this Phyto A brightening treatment. <laughs> I use this Phyto A brightening treatment, also by SkinCeuticals. Damn, she's using the good stuff. I don't know if she built this routine herself or if someone built it for her, but she's got A, some expensive products, but B, some active ingredients. This is a vitamin A product from SkinCeuticals. Vitamin A is also known as a retinoid. There's basically this umbrella term, retinoid, that includes everything from retinol, retinaldehyde, tretinoin, slash retin-A. And then there are cousin molecules or sister molecules, such as things like adapalene gel, which are really, really wonderful. You already know why retinoids are great. I just just don't recommend this specific product because it's not cruelty free and it's very expensive. We've done other videos on the best retinoids. If you're acne prone, Dermalogica has a retinol clearing oil, which is so good. If you've got a little bit of money to spend, one of the best ones is the Medicaid Retinaldehyde Serum. And if you're looking for inexpensive things over the counter, The Ordinary has a Grand Active Retinoid, Inky List has a retinol cream that's really nice and gentle. And there are even things like from Versed that is like a retinol eye balm that you can use all over the face, especially if you have dry skin, but you want to use retinoids and get the benefits of them. So I would recommend those instead, <laughs> but I really like that she's actually using a lot of great active ingredients. Again, I don't want to compare her skin to the other Outer Banks stars that we've reacted to because obviously everybody's skin is different. But when I think about in just general, how celebrities normally approach skincare, they normally throw money at expensive products that are from designer brands that don't actually know what active ingredients are. And it seems like someone just either filled up their skincare cabinets with a bunch of PR or these celebrities went and got expensive treatments and were unfortunately sold or taken advantage of by salespeople who just wanted to shove very expensive products down their throats. Now with this, the products do look quite expensive, but at least these are products that have ingredients that are going to benefit the skin. I'm a little bit worried about her mixing too many actives, especially because based on what she's using, it sounds like she may have concerns with the texture of her skin or with blemishes. I would be worried about overdoing it with too many actives, but if this routine has been working for her, keep using it. After using that benzoyl peroxide, it does dry my face out quite a bit. I always carry around like some sort of moisturizer because I hate the feeling of dry skin. I also like feeling dewy. Some people would say I look sweaty. 
it's just healthy skin, babe. Oh my God, so she's right. Dewy skin is healthy skin. We should embrace our skin, whether it's dry or oily or greasy or just combination or normal, which the term normal is arguable if it should even exist because what is normal anyways? But when she says that she wants to look sweaty, it almost sounds to me like she's speaking about this new laminated skin trend. And boy, if you have not heard about the laminated skin trend, oh, are we onto something? It's no longer about looking dewy and fresh. We now apparently want to look sweaty and um, like we're having a heat stroke as according to the beauty industry. So uh, Vaseline up your faces, babes, if you want to fit in with the cool kids these days, I guess. We've actually done a video on who this trend is good for and who this trend is not good for because um, that's a lot. Holy grail of moisturizers. My favorite, it's Barbara Strum face cream. I love that this is her favorite face cream. I love that this works for her. But Dr. Barbara Sturm is so expensive. That's a car payment. Dr. Barbara Sturm may have done some amazing things, but this product is so incredibly expensive for the ingredients. And again, if you're doing this for a shelfie, if you've got Outer Banks style money, if you got it for free, Use it, babe. But if you're someone who's looking to make healthy skincare choices, maybe you're someone who's struggling with acne or struggling with your skin and you don't want to overspend, you just want something that f***ing works. And this is a no for me. <laughs> Dr. Barbara Sturm may be an amazing person, but just because you're an amazing person, first off, does not mean that you make amazing cannolis. And number two, doesn't mean you make great products. So just because someone is a wonderful personality, doesn't mean that we should be spending $360 on their face cream. Ah! I just, I, bleh, I can't. Especially when we turn and learn our ingredients. The main ingredients in here are water, caprylic triglyceride, decal oleate, shea butter, glycerin. These are all wonderful ingredients, but these are so basic. You can get these in very, very simple, simple products for five, ten dollars. We've got olive oil. Jennifer Lopez is, is, is out here still selling us olive oil. We just reacted to her routine. We've got avocado oil. We have ceramide NP, which is wonderful. But can I recommend ceramides in a Mediter product instead? Maybe in this vegan version of CeraVe, like K-Beauty has some ceramides. There are so many less expensive ones. There's a plankton extract in here and some squalene. If you wanna spend money, like $60, get yourself some Biosance. There's some plankton seaweed products you can get at Whole Foods. This is a no for me, especially for the price, and if she likes it, keep using it, I'm happy for her, but for anyone else who's struggling, oh my God, stop, oh my God, stop, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Sunscreen, always. SPF 50, SPF 30 minimum. Okay, this confirms she is a skin intellectual. Did you did did you hear that? Sunscreen, always SPF 50, SPF 30 minimum. That right there is a skin intellectual. She knows some stuff about skincare. She knows her active ingredients. She knows her steps and application. Here is the thing. This product is not one that I would recommend. This is one of those serum sunscreens. If you look at the ingredients. It is one of the most basic sunscreens that Dr. Barbara Sturm is putting in a nice, pretty little glass bottle and selling for 150 doll hairs. If I am spending all my doll hairs on this, I am going to be a bald Barbie okay? Now, when it comes to the SPF 30, SPF 50, what SPF do you need? We have videos on this because the SPF number does not mean you're that percent protected from the sun. SPF 50 does not mean that you're half protected from the sun. That number, the 50 or the 30, actually relates to how long you can wear that product without having to reapply. Most sunscreens, whether it's a 15, a 30, or a 50, they protect between 90 and 95 percent of the sun's rays. And a lot of people hear that and they think, okay, well then if the SPF SPF 15 and the SPF 30 protect like 90 to 95%, why would I choose one over the other? And the reason is because the SPF 30 is going to last on your skin twice as long before you have to reapply it. Whereas the SPF 15, you have to reapply. And that's why doctors and dermatologists often recommend above 30, not because it's majorly superior, even though you could get some more benefit from it. The main reason is you don't have to reapply it as often. And that makes it easier for most people to use. The fact that she's even saying that means that she has heard it or she understands it, which is so refreshing to hear from a celebrity. I mean, we've come a long way from Gwyneth Paltrow doing this kind of thing. Um, love her as an actress, but again, just because you make good movies, 
doesn't mean you make good the moisturizers. No, 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 no. There's a lot of stuff out there that people can spend their money on. But for me, as someone who has personally struggled with acne, who has been through medical aesthetics, worked with doctors and derms, and seen some of the very painful skin rashes and irritation and acne lesions that can come from bad hygiene or using the wrong products or something you're allergic to, I want people to feel empowered by their skin and to save money and to put that money towards things like spending time at a nice vacation or doing things with your friends, right? You should use products that empower you to live your best life, that have morals and values that you agree with. And if you want to spend money for something really special, go for it. But make sure that you know what's in it and you're buying it because it works for you and your budget and your morals, not just because some celebrity said it was great and then you're like, oh, well, this eye doctor told me to put this cream on my left cheek dimple. So um, I'm going to do that for uh, 345 bucks. <laughs> Oh, save me. <laughs> My two remaining brain cells are having a water balloon fight filled with this Dr. Barber Serum sunscreen right now. And um, it is a lot. So we're gonna leave it at that. <laughs> I used to not wear sunscreen a lot, and my mom always scolded me for it. Now, after shooting out her banks, I have noticed a little bit of sun damage. Now I've become really, really adamant about wearing it. And for the show, we use foundation with sunscreen built in. But it's just so hard because, you know, we're running, we're sweating, we're in the water. Eye serum. This one's by Clarence. It's called the Double Serum. If you look closely, there's one little thing in here, and then there's another thing in here. Oh God, we were doing so well. And now we've got the eye cream. Okay, again, this tells me that the information that she's getting is either from luxury publications or somebody made a lot of money off this beautiful girl. I do not understand. The Clarins eye serum. Clarins does have a vegan line. Some of their products are nice, really good, but they're very expensive. They're very fragranced. And this eye serum, why? Why are we spending so much money? to rub this around our eye area. And a lot of these products don't even say what they're good for. If it's a wrinkle, that's very different than a color versus an under eye bag. A lot of these products don't even distinguish as to what benefit they're going to give you. We've done a video on eye creams that are actually worth the money. They're like under $30 too, not hundreds like this one and ones that are actually going to provide results to people. I don't know what she's talking about running and swimming. That sounds like a lot of fun. And uh, banks, is that like a shore? I was thinking like outer banks, like going to the bank. That's what I was thinking of. Maybe I need to start watching movies cause I do live under a rock, but at least I know not to waste my money on eye creams. Again, if this works for her, then wonderful. But like just looking at her, not judging her for her, her appearance, but just assessing, I don't even see anything in her eye area that I would find concerns with. And again, is that because this product was magical for her or is it because she just doesn't need it, you know? And there is an idea of prevention rather than treatment. We love that. But the best thing that she could do is take those Dr. Barbara Sturm eye sunscreen drops that my two brain cells are fighting with in a water balloon and put that underneath her eyes and use that to protect and prevent damage. I love that she's been open about not using sunscreen. Uh, a lot of us didn't grow up with sunscreen education. Our parents didn't tell us how to organize a closet, how to take care of our hair, how to, you know, fill out our schedules and be productive humans. There are a lot of things that we didn't learn. And for some people that is something like applying sunscreen and our parents, you know, they probably meant well, they probably did their best in most circumstances, but parents are humans and humans have flaws. And me as an adult of childbearing age, I'm like, oh, shit. you want me to be responsible for a tiny human? That's a lot. That's a lot. These are the kind of thoughts that hit you once you turn 30, but like it's a lot. And when it comes to giving people the education and the empowerment that they need, it was information literally like this that I wish that I had had when I was 16 and struggling with my skin and feeling terrible in my acne. Somebody to tell me where my money is actually going to be spent well versus what is just a cash grab and what I need to be aware of or how to choose products that actually work for my skin instead of against them. I do use strong products and it's because my skin has become accustomed to it. The Kiss You Lip Mask. I don't know this lip mask, but I do like that she speaks about what works for her skin. It sounds like her skin is tolerant. 
blend. Like, I like it. I like the way that she applies her sunscreen. I like the way that she's doing her best to take care of her skin. I just wouldn't spend my money on a lot of these products. But especially comparing to many other celebrity routines, this one actually has some good actives. I would create a budget version, which I have done here in the description box for you. But I want you to remember to choose things that are right for your skin and to actually understand the science behind how these things work. I know it can sometimes feel overwhelming, but that's why I want to do my best to help break it down or recommend other doctors and dermatologists like Dr. Dre or Dr. Shaw here on YouTube who provide amazing information. If you ever have a question about a specific product or skin condition, you can literally put in the search bar of YouTube, Cassandra Bankson P150, Cassandra Bankson SkinCeuticals, Cassandra Bankson Ordinary, Cassandra Bankson Under Eye Bags, Cassandra Bankson Pimple Popping. And over the last 12 years, I've created a ton of videos, so you can probably find one that speaks about that topic and hopefully breaks it down so that you don't have to break out or freak out about your skin. All of this being said, I give this routine like a solid seven. And the reason why is because we did apply the eye cream in the wrong order. The eye serum should have gone before the moisturizer and before the sunscreen. And um, I, I really don't like the prices of a lot of these. There's a lot of fragrance in there. But the fact that she's listening to her skin, she's using things that work for her, she's tying her hair up to quell my anxiety. I appreciate it. And my two brain cells have stopped throwing water balloons filled with Dr. Barbara Serum sunscreen. And now they're sipping some iced tea on a nice back deck on a lake. And that's nice. That's, that's mm, refreshing. Always remember to stay hydrated both orally and topically. Reapply your sunscreen, some of which I've linked right here if you want to tickle that little button. And always remember to be beautiful both inside and out. I love you and I cannot wait to see you in this next video. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.